Okay, this is gonna be my meal before I start my 72 hour fast. I am gonna have a little bit more, but I have it ready to go. I'll be 18 hours fasted eating this and then starting the 72 hours. It's that time again, the 72 hour quarterly fast and we're gonna do it together. What's gonna be hard? How are we gonna get through it? How can we make it easier? And hopefully break the fast three days from now. I've been doing these every quarter and I feel like I learn something new every time and I like to share that with you. But before I start the fast, I gotta eat my last meal. So I'm gonna do that now and we'll get started. I've been fasting almost three hours into the 72 and I'm stopping to get lime bubbly water. It's such a nice day and I want the bubbly refreshing drink. Okay, I got my sparkling water from Panera with the Element and I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm doing a 72 hour fast using the flavored Element and they're sponsoring this video. I absolutely love having Element on my longer fast. It's something I started doing almost two years ago at this point and it made a huge difference. My first 72 hour fast, I actually dealt with leg cramps really sore legs and it was pointed out to me in the comments of a video that it might be something that electrolytes could help and sure enough they did. With elements 1000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium, I no longer get sore legs on my longer fast. However, I generally use the raw unflavored and while the flavors have the same makeup, they also taste much better. So I'm excited to see how I feel using the flavors because I've never done that in a longer fast. I personally think that having flavors sometimes makes me hungrier in a fast, but I'm gonna see how I survive. Can I survive on a three-day fast using this? I know they really help me on my cramps, help me to stay feeling good. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Right now, Element's offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. It's the perfect way to try all eight flavors or to share Element with a salty friend. You can get yours at drinkelement.com slash fasting foodie. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash fasting foodie. Thank you so much to Element for sponsoring this video. After that first initial fast, Element has helped me to stay feeling good on my longer fast. This is the first time I'm trying the flavors. I know it's going to taste delicious. We'll see how I feel. Will it make me hungrier? I'm pretty curious. Morning of day two, I'm just past 18 hours fasted and feeling really good. So right now, this is business as usual. I don't have any like temptation to not do it or it's not hard at all. I haven't gotten to the first dinner, but I'm about to go grocery shopping and I'm gonna share with you a tip. I am planning spaghetti for dinner tonight and I'm talking box noodles, jar sauce, peas or green beans, and a baguette with butter and cheese on the side. It's one of my family's favorite meals. It's one of my least favorite meals. It's pretty basic and nothing that I'm gonna miss. So easy for me to prepare and I don't feel like I'm missing out or sad that I'm having it. The next night we're having what the internet likes to call white people taco night. I have ground beef seasoned with taco meat. We have box of shells, lots of toppings. I'm gonna make Spanish rice that my family likes. Really basic again, very simple. I don't hate the meal, but I'm not gonna feel like I'm missing out. So I purposely plan the two meals that I will be not eating to be ones that I don't feel really sad about. They're ones that I generally make if I eat lunch early in the day, knowing I'm not gonna eat dinner. They're really safe ones that my family likes that I don't miss. So that's what my plan is. I always grocery shop fasted, so I don't think that's gonna make it harder. I'm only in my first full day right now, so I don't think it's gonna be too hard, but we're gonna get into the store and I'll see you later. I got my first cup of coffee for the day. Very much looking forward to this. Loading up on my drinks. Getting close to 24 hours. I'm getting decaf coffee and a Diet Pepsi. I'm testing. So I have the Diet Pepsi and the decaf coffee. It's my first ever longer fast where I'm exploring the flavors of the Element or the Diet Pepsi. We'll see if it makes it harder. Staying busy is really an important part of 72 hour fast for me personally. And that means I do all the extras, like make sure we go to the dog park. We're about to go pick up my kids from the school, but we're gonna be at the dog park. It's really beautiful out. So it's a great way to get some movement in, enjoy the weather, enjoy my dog, pass the time. 
part of being a mom that is fasting is your kids still want to eat and get good things. They use some of their Starbucks gift cards that they were gifted over the holiday or birthday seasons. But the thing is, I can still survive because I'm stronger than temptation. Right, Elsie? But how is that? Just tell me. Amazing. No, it's awful. It's awful. It's awful. See, I don't need it. I convinced Elsie to go on a walk with me. We're enjoying this beautiful March weather, right? Yes. And passing time. She finished dinner. I made dinner. It wasn't that hard because it's not my favorite dinner. So they got to eat and now I'm walking. Your mom's doing a long fast. What did you ask me to do? Help me with the crepes. Where's the mercy? We're making homemade crepes. I'm her scooper. Mom life. I am about 32 hours in. I have my element with the bubbly hair. And while I am really enjoying drinking the Diet Pepsi, the flavored water with the element that's flavored, something I don't normally do in my longer fast, it tastes good in the short term. But long term, it's definitely not something I want to do regularly. I definitely feel hungrier and thinking of food more. And I have nothing to blame but the flavors. This is not my first 72 hour fast. In fact, I've done multiples and it's certainly one where I feel hungrier than I have in the past. I don't know that it's breaking my fast. I don't know that it has any effect on the ketosis. In fact, when I've tested, I see that my blood sugar dips a little bit, which indicates that probably some insulin was released and my ketosis has not really changed when I've tested my blood when I have flavors or diet beverages. So really blood wise, very small effect on fasting. However, it does mentally make me feel like, well, more than mentally, physically, and then mentally because of the physical, it makes me feel like I'm gonna eat and I feel like food is more front of mind. And the thing is, I've been fasting for almost four years. I can get through this hunger and I'm good at fasting. I know that I like to do the longer fast and I can push through it. However, especially if you're starting, or especially if you're doing your first 72 hour fast, I would not add in the flavors. I'm only, I mean, I'm 32 hours in, 40 hours to go. So I'm not at the very beginning, but I still have a ways to go. And if I feel hungry the next 40 hours, it's gonna be a long 40 hours, you know what I'm saying? Normally I have like a peak and then I ride the wave and I don't feel too hungry the rest of the time. I'm really hoping that if I continue, like tomorrow when I have my element with lime bubbly, I won't feel super hungry. We'll see, I'll keep you updated, but it is almost my bedtime. I'm gonna sleep, hopefully I can sleep well tonight. I do feel kind of energized, um, but 32 hours down, 40 to go, and we'll see you tomorrow on day three. It's the morning of day three. I am 30 hours left of my fast, 30 hours and one minutes. Okay, I just got my Walmart order, which a lot of it is the stuff I'm gonna eat during my update tomorrow, so I'll share that with you. If you don't know, I do share grocery hauls on a different channel because I love grocery shopping. Um, I bought five of these, for, or four of these, I bought four of these. They're for my daughter's lunch because I forgot to get them at Aldi and Walmart has the hot ones. Um, so she's pretty excited. But for myself, I got a number of things. First of all, my first 72 hour fast, I had um, air fried okra. It becomes really soft, easy to break down. I do do the breaded. Probably would be slightly better to not do the breaded for digestion, but I like this better. So I'm gonna have this air fried. I'm also going to, this is the main reason I put in my order. This, I just love this stuff. It's the fajita steak from Walmart. I don't season this any, it's already seasoned. I chop it into bite-sized pieces because they can be kind of long strips. I just cut them down a little bit, air fry it, and then I flip them, air fry it again, like eight minutes on both sides. I think at like 400 degrees. I don't know. I just kind of, I do it a little different every time. But I could eat all of the steak. I'll probably ask my husband if he wants me to save him a little bit. But I'll have that with okra. And I'm very much looking forward to it. And then on a couple hour break, before we have dinner, we're having like cube steak in the crock pot with mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Also very much looking forward to that. And then because I want to have a longer eating window and I'm not doing sweets, I've learned the hard way 
sweets don't make me feel good after a 72 hour fast. I had the most roller coaster blood sugar ever. I am making a cream cheese here. Let's see, what did they get me for jalapenos? Yeah, they got me a lot of them. I'm making baked jalapeno poppers. So I mix the cream cheese with cheddar cheese and bacon. I mix it all together. I fill up the jalapeno and I bake it. It is extremely low carb and it's absolutely delicious. And it's one of my favorite snacks that isn't like sugary. So I'm gonna have that in the evening. And then in case I needed something else, which I don't think I will, um, I also got cottage cheese just because I forgot to get it at Aldi yesterday. And I like to have that on hand. And I do think I'm getting pistachios at Costco. So basically, I'm looking for a lot of protein that will be filling delicious and help me to have a stabilized um, break and up day because I've just seen in the past that when I have dessert, especially because I want it after three days of not eating, it my blood sugar is like woo. And normally with OMAD, my blood sugar is pretty stable. So I got all this stuff to make sure that I have a really good up day tomorrow when I break my fast. We got 30 hours to go, people. And I'm excited. I feel good. I'm also going to Panera to, of course, get some coffee. I do still feel like I am hungrier than normal at this point, and I only blame the flavors, but I'm still able to push through because I'm good at fasting. All right? See you later in the day. I have just under 18 hours left, and my oldest daughter asked for a snack. I still have mom duties even if I'm fasting, and you know what? I've been doing it long enough that I can withstand it, and you can too. We can fast even around food, guys. Say it with me. We can fast. We can fast. I'm going to go deliver this and then smell something stinky because this actually smells really good. Maybe I'll be eating this tomorrow. Drink run. If you're fasting, you know how important it is to have all your drinks. I'm doing it. Sparkling water. Going to add element. Half calf. So decaf probably up to here and then the rest light roast. And going to finish out this fast strong. I'm getting giddy. It's a little bit windy, but uh, let's finish this fast. I only have one minute left, but I'm in the school pickup line, so I'm not going to break it right at 72 hours, but I'm feeling really good, and I'm so excited for when I get home. First bite of the day. Okay, I just broke my fast. It was 72 hours, 23 minutes. I had an avocado and the air fried steak. It was absolutely delicious, and now I'll wait a couple hours before dinner. Let my digestion slowly wake up, but I consider this a success. If you wanna see the video where I tell you how I break my fast and why I chose these items, you can check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao, Donna, ciao.